San Luis Obispo County District 3 Supervisor Adam Hill says he is seeking specialized care for depression and he's encouraging others who are suffering to seek help. KSBY News reporter Sydney Brandt is live in San Luis Obispo with resources available during this pandemic. Sydney. Karina, mental health experts tell me it's not uncommon for people to be experiencing feelings of isolation, anxiety and depression during the pandemic, but they want to remind people that they're not alone. So this is uh, SLO hotline. Uh, this is a 24 seven uh, mental health, emotional support hotline that anyone can call. Barry Johnson is one of many dedicated to fighting the stigma of mental health. Transitions Mental Health Association in Slow County says care for their patients has been impacted since the pandemic started. So we've definitely had to adapt our services. Um, you know, we are still doing some meeting with folks out in the community, but that might look more like us meeting outside at a park, going for a walk. The county's behavioral health department also has resources for those struggling during the pandemic. We are still smack in the middle of a pandemic and our numbers have been going up. They are now offering chats with behavioral health on tips for self care with Spanish options too, offering resources to the community on how to be well during this time of uncertainty. One county resident shared his experience and what he recommends for those also seeking treatment. I definitely recommend going to a group setting or a facility or just connecting with other people that experience mental illnesses is a great deal of benefit, benefit to um, almost anybody out there. I mean, you have people that advocate for you, that can speak up for you, that help you remind you that you're not alone. I also spoke with Balance Treatment Center today in San Luis Obispo, and they tell me mental health is all about adaptability, distress tolerance, and being aware of uncertainty in your life. Reporting live in San Luis Obispo, Sydney Brandt, KSBY News. Sydney, thank you. And we will have links to the local resources mentioned in this story on our website, KSBY.com.